Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing, first of all, backtrack. This is not the freaking coolest shirt you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm like in love with it. I probably should have bought 12 of them because I'm gonna wanna keep this shirt for the rest of my life. I got it at Target like two weeks ago and it was like $12 or something. I don't know, something ridiculous and I had to buy it. And anyway, okay, so today's video is going to be the Tarte and Whitney Simmons collaboration. Um, the packaging is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Even her little lipstick has sneakers on it. It's just so stinking cute. So the lipstick packaging is cardboard, I believe. Like the outer and then the inner is like regular plastic or whatever um, and then her actual palette is the regular plastic so funny story about the palette I got it and I opened it and it was like very powdery and I was like oh my god one of my shadows is broken oh my god I can't open this I was like oh my god one of my shadows is broken opened it nothing was broken However, my cat knocked it off my kitchen table and now my highlight shade is broken. I don't want to like hold it too steep so that whatever. But yeah, it came and it was all like dirty and had powder and fallout everywhere. So I was confused why it was so messy. but whatever it doesn't like really bother me that much I mean the fact that my cat knocked it off the table and broke it bothers me but that's my own fault for yeah anyway and then she has her the mascara the little mini man eater mascara which I can't find so hold please all right so it's a little mini man eater mascara now y'all know my tart box video I said I never tried Tarte eyeshadows before so this is exciting and I solely honestly bought it because it was a Whitney Simmons collaboration because I just don't hear good things about Tarte eyeshadows and for the price I feel like I could get other eyeshadows that I would like better but whatever um some people like I feel like you either love Tarte eyeshadows or you hate Tarte eyeshadows so we're gonna find out um, you know in my Tarte unboxing, and if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below, how I feel about my Tarte products. Some of them work, some of them didn't. Um, I did not like the Lights Camera Flashes mascara. I've been using the Man Eater mascara for a few days now, so that's not going to be like my first impressions, but I haven't used the palette or the lipstick yet. Um, but we'll get into it we'll, we'll get into how I feel about the mascara so I'm gonna go do my face and I will be back in a few moments all right we're back and I don't know if you can tell but I kind of put blush on this cheek my puppy is on my makeup desk because he won't stop running around I'm gonna insert a clip for you guys off to the side here just to show you what I was dealing with while I was doing my face makeup He's 11 weeks old. Whew. He's something else. Um, pause. Willie, come here. Come here. Get down. You can't be up there while I'm filming. You're too noisy. Okay. Um, so I put blush here, not thinking about how there's blush in the freaking palette. So... I like went over it with my foundation brush just to kind of like blend it out or whatever so I don't know if it worked or not but I tried I tried my best it's only on this cheek just a little um so anyway I've got my face done I also want to let you guys know I said that I bought this solely because it was Whitney Simmons and I meant to say that I wanted it so bad that my loving boyfriend bought it for me because it was Whitney Simmons Regardless, it wouldn't have been purchased if it was not a collaboration with Whitney. Are you going to be a pain the whole time? The whole time? You can't just lay down like a good little boy? You see how I did a camera? 
you say hi Willy <laughs> okay that's my new puppy Willy let's just get into the eyes all right so these shadows are pretty um, pretty neutral I feel like I've seen a million tart palettes with these colors um, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it anyway so like I already said I'm gonna try not to tip the palette too much so that this doesn't fall out but I'm gonna go in with this shade right here um, cut and I'm just gonna put it into my crease I do like that there's a mirror um, there is a lot of kickback when you put the brush in also I'm using the JH 33 from the Morphe Jacqueline um, brush collab thingamajig These are some powder. I feel like they're powdery. I just watched a few reviews like while I was waiting for my thing to come in and stuff. And a lot of people said they were so like creamy, but I don't know about that. One of my friends who's like obsessed with Whitney Simmons texted me this morning actually and was like, I hate my Whitney palette. And sh I was like, great. Like, I'm filming with it today and I'm so like nervous about it. Um, the shadows are definitely pigmented which is awesome. I'm not gonna lie there. And which was weird to me that she didn't like it because she's like you're very basic like doesn't do makeup. She's not like she's not like huge into makeup so for her to have trouble with the Whitney palette was didn't make any sense to me because I thought the whole sorry I keep looking back my dog is over there and I'm trying to make sure he's not getting into anything but the whole point I felt like of Whitney's palette was to make sure anybody could use it and that it was a simple neutral easy to work with palette and I didn't get that from when my friend who is not like a makeup person like had a hard time with it so I was kind of disappointed to hear that just because I felt like that was the whole like point of doing this palette was that it was easy it had everything you needed it was very simple to work with I don't know so that was kind of bizarre to me um, I'm not gonna like hold Whitney accountable for that because she didn't make it she wasn't in the lab like creating her palette but just something to think about. I'm gonna go in with the shade Snatched and I'm using a JH32. A lot of kickback with this one too. I don't even know. Oh, well, the highlighter fell out, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower than I put cut. I don't see as much color payoff. I mean, I did not cut against the palette, so maybe I shouldn't do that. But I'm just trying to avoid fallout on the face as opposed to getting it all over myself. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot with this shade. It's not super pigmented. Um, I'm honestly not even finding that it's really that easy to like build up which is making me kind of sad and I'm gonna try to deepen this up pretty quick I'm gonna use the shade reps and yes that little chunk of highlight fell out last time I held it up when I was showing you the shade snatched which is fine it was gonna fall out eventually so I'm using a JH40 not as much kickback but it's also a smaller brush so okay this one is much more pigmented. Because it's a little bit more pigmented, I'm working a little bit slower on this eye than I did the other eye, just to be safe. So it's a little bit deeper. I feel like they don't blend together super, super well. So I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm gonna go in with Cardio and just put it all over my lid.
All right, so I've got that on the first half of my lid. And I think I'm going to go in with trainer on my finger as well and just put it on the outers of my lid just for the sake of trying to use a few more of the shadows. Ooh, I love this shade. And now I'm going to take um, this Morphe M508 and I'm just going to take reps and put it right underneath. So that is the eye look. Um, nothing groundbreaking, obviously, but I do like it. I do, I mean, I do gravitate towards these kinds of shadows every single day, so it. this is a palette that I would gravitate towards. Would I buy another Tarte palette? No, probably not, just because I feel like I have all the shades I would need from Tarte now because I have this palette. Um, I am going to dip into the blush. The shade Sweat. It's a really, really pretty color. Oh, she is pigmented. Okay. Let's blend her out a little bit. This blush. Oh my god. This alone is like reason for me to have the palette because I love this blush. Okay, all right, I see you. I see you, Whitney, I see you, Tart. I got you. Now I'm gonna use the shade Flex. It's the little highlight shade in the palette. She's a pretty highlight. I wouldn't say the highlight is something I've never seen before, um, but it is pretty. It's very pretty. But like I said, I mean I have 600 highlights and this doesn't really stand out. Because of this being so neutral and so easy and so like small and compact, um, this is great for traveling. So that's got it going for it. Um, it's not a bad palette by any means and it was a really good price point. I think I paid like 35 or I think Reed paid like $35 for it. Um, so again, it's not like I would buy a Tarte palette again because now I have this and I have pretty much everything I would want from a Tarte palette because to me they're all the same, but to support Whitney was huge for me. I love her. Um, I watch all of her videos. I don't do her workouts. I watch the workouts. I don't do the workouts because, well, it's just not who I am. I'm more of a yoga, go outside and walk kind of gal, but I do just like to watch her videos. I just like her energy. I love her what she eats in a day videos, her like her when she used to count her macros all kinds of those videos those are good for me to watch um but pop the mascara on and then we'll put some lipstick on and then we'll be done so that is the mascara nothing i think monumental for me um my Maybelline Snapscara does a way better job at darkening them and elongating them. Um, so I just don't think I'm a fan of Tarte mascaras. I know a lot of people love them. I just don't think I'm a fan. They don't work for me. So we're going to move on to this cute little lipstick. She looks like a really pretty nude. She looks like a warm nude. So let's see because the videos that I've seen and reviews I've seen, she was like more cool and pinky, so, huh. Ooh, she's minty. All right, so it's a really pretty color. So you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I, I like, I like the palette. I'm not gonna say here and say I don't like the palette. Um, I think the shadows are really pretty. The shimmers are amazing. The mattes are like kind of so so for me um but it's a great little palette to travel with the highlighter is really pretty the blush i can't even tell you how obsessed with the blush that i am because it's insane Ooh, 
excuse me. Uh, mascara, not a fan. I'm just gonna chalk it up to I don't like Tarte mascaras. I don't think I like their wands is what my problem is. Um, so I'll just stick with my Maybelline and drugstore mascaras because those are always like my favorite ones. Um, the lip is really pretty. It's very sheer. It's pretty. Um, it's got a little shine to it. Um, it's minty, which I enjoy. But that is that is it. I give it a good thumbs up for this. I enjoyed it. Congratulations again to Whitney on the collaboration. If you ever see this video, I love you. Um, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And let me know down in the comments what you think of the palette, what you want me to film next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!